Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. Derek speaking here. Today I bring another request video. In this case, we're looking at three Motor Storm titles available on the PlayStation 3. First of all, I really want to highlight how impressive it is to see all three PlayStation 3 Motor Storm titles running on the entry level M1 MacBook Air. Um, one year ago, even six months ago, I used to test these games on the double, you know, just to be able to post a new video. And Motorstorm was really one of those titles I was always trying to get, you know, just to be able to post the uh, game. However, I was never actually able to get anything, you know, any footage, any gameplay that was actually decent enough to post on the channel. Uh, now, today is a different story here. Despite the fact that the game isn't running at a smooth 30 FPS, actually, you know, quite the opposite. Right now, it's running at around 20 frames per second. The system is yet to throttle. Of course, it's a bit of a mess. However, the game is running. Like, we're actually, we can actually see the whole track where, you know, it's not like before where everything was just a complete mess. Now the game is actually running. Now it's just a matter of seeing that the CPU is causing the bottleneck. You know, it's it's the 2020 M1 <laughs> in the uh, a passively cooled MacBook Air. It's the weakest chip of them all. So obviously it's going to have a hard time if you have, even if you just have the M1 in the MacBook Pro or the Mac Mini, which is, you know, actively cooled. It has that extra eight uh, GPU core. It's already gonna perform much better than this. So this is just, you know, like a starting point, uh, which should serve us as reference compared to the, you know, the more powerful um, Apple Silicon computers.
So up next we have Motorstorm Apocalypse. This game was released three years after Pacific Rift in 2011. And as, as I said earlier guys, what's important here is the fact that the game is running. Performance wise, well, you know, it's, it can barely uh, hold 10 frames per second. Visuals are, you know, they're not looking great. But the fact that the game, you know, actually is actually running and we're not having any major issues with the visuals, well, for me, that's already outstanding, uh, obviously, compared to what we had on the table six months ago. You know, I've been testing these games a lot. You know, I, I wouldn't even test Motor Storm Apocalypse because, you know, at the beginning, I wasn't even able to get Motor Storm the first one that came out on PlayStation 3 back in 2006. So, you know, just, you know, the fact that this game's running at 10 frames per second, this is obviously after having throttled because I'm already half an hour in to testing games after having tested uh, Pacific Rift. So obviously keep that in mind, but still, you know, we're getting that 10, 12 frames per second here. So not playable, but definitely very, very cool. And last but not least, we have Motorstorm. Yeah, the first Motorstorm that was released on PlayStation 3. This was released back in 2006. And if I would have, um, you know, done this video in a chronological order, this should have been the first one. However, I, I left it for the last video, not because, you know, I don't like it. Actually, quite the opposite. Um, this was one of the first games I tested on the PlayStation 3 back in the day. And, you know, ever since, I've always been trying to test it here on the RPCS3 emulator on the M1 MacBook Air. So, you know, in all my previous attempts, there was actually no way to get this game to run. I would always have 
some type of issue you know i would just be waiting for the next build um this obviously concerning the rpcs3 emulator but you know build after build after build after build i would test it see you know what would have changed what what maybe you know didn't change and you know in the end you know performance was a mess all the visuals were a mess the textures were a mess sometimes the cars wouldn't appear everything you know was kind of like just invisible textures were missing vehicles were missing props everything you know lots of elements on screen were missing sometimes the games just wouldn't launch maybe performance was good maybe it wasn't so you know in the end it, I, I never had anything good enough to actually you know just post on the channel now as you guys can see despite the fact that the system has throttled because it's the third game i've been testing and obviously the system you know it's it's been it's 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 an oven right now but still you know it's managing to to get at least anywhere between 15 to 20 frames per second as we can see right now and you know guys that's amazing you know that to me at least i find it amazing since this game six months ago 12 months ago you know it was impossible you got you guys can actually you can check some of the live streams that we did back in the day and you'd, you'd be able to see that yeah of course you know we test the game and the game was a mess so now um obviously performance is poor on the 2020 m1 macbook air obviously due to the fact that it has only seven gpu cores and as you guys can see in this in this game both cpu and gpu are running at the 70 to 75 percent so you know probably both are being used up and they would just bottleneck themselves so the thing is that if you have a more powerful computer that was released after this one be it the the m1 pro the m1 max or the m2 the m2 pro and so on and so forth even if you were just to have the m1 macbook pro which is actively cool then it would have that extra eighth core you should already see anywhere between a 10 to 15 percent boost in performance um you know and, and and if you have more ram um you'd have even better performance and you know if you just and 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 you know so on and so forth 